Jay Sano without intro music. Jay Sano with intro music. Intro music remix. Hello everybody and welcome, this is Jeff, playing a new game called The Talos Principle. It's by Crow Team. It is a, according to their website, it's a philosophical first-person puzzle game from Crow Team, who made Serious Sam, and written by Tom Jubert, FTL and the Swapper, and Jonas Kratzis, I think that's how you pronounce his name, uh, from Infinite Ocean. Solve complex puzzles woven into a metaphysical parable about intelligence and meaning in a doomed world. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be a first look video that's probably going to turn into a series because this game looks amazing. You can buy it on Steam. Uh, you can pre-order it on Steam, I should say. I'll link that in the description. Right now, this is kind of like an early access. It comes out December 9th, so keep in mind, it's coming out soon, within the week. Uh, I happened to talk to these guys at PAX Prime. I went up to their booth saw this game, thought it looked amazing, and I spent about a half an hour talking to the, the Crow Team developers uh, about this game in particular because it just looked so amazing. So now I get the chance to play it, and you guys get to come along for the ride because we've got early access to be able to show off some of the features. So I had already started just to make sure it was going to run on my computer and everything and got through like the first puzzle or two, but we're going to do a new game. We're going to start out the new game and bring you guys in from the beginning. Now, I personally love puzzle games. Uh, I, I love playing games like this. I love the swapper. Uh, FTL is not really a puzzle game, though. That's, you know, one of the guys is creator of FTL, which is just, this is amazing. Uh, and I, if you look back through my channel, I've played things like Limbo, Braid, uh, the swapper, etc., etc. So this game is right up my alley and I am... So excited to get started with it. Initializing firmware. Firmware functional. Loading child program parameters. V99.68.0001 loaded. System check passed. Starting child process. Ready. The graphics on this, like these cutscenes, are amazing. So here we are. Behold, child, you are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Okay, so I gotta go find Elohim in the temple. Now, I do not know at this point if... The temple is endgame, or if the temple is early on in the game where you get like more missions or more puzzles to have to go solve, I am unsure of that. So I'm looking around at a lot of this stuff, and it's just cool headless statues, benches. It's a whole immersive environment. You can jump, you can't crouch, I don't think, though. You can run with the left shift, which actually runs really freaking fast. This tree, I can bust right on through this tree. Yeah. These things seem to be like the the things in Portal where you can't bring things back and forth between the two. So if I pick up an object, that's kind of like my barrier shield that doesn't let me take it through. This is actually like a complete barrier. I can't get through this part of this at all. I can't jump over it or anything like that. This... We'll come back to this in a minute. If I go... Oh no, I guess this is what I have to start with. This thing is a jammer. I can pick up the jammer, and it can jam things like the little robots, or it can jam these these force fields so that I can now get through. I was trying to, like, early off, I was like, <laughs> I'm going to go through here and pick up the jammer and take it with me for the rest of the 
of the game, but it automatically makes you, when you pick it up, it runs you back across the other side of the door on its own. So you can't cheat the game like that. Can I climb up this wall? Does not look like it. Ugh, nope. You slide right on back down that thing. So I'm just kind of wandering around like this thing. What is this? It blows me up. The cool thing about this is it does this awesome backwards cutscene and then says correcting for errors done, reloading program done. So this guy, I gotta figure out a way to get past this guy. Now, if I can find another jammer, which, look at that, I found another jammer. I don't know what the distance on these are. It's far enough though. So I got him jammed, so I can just go up to him and, you know, jump on his head. I guess he can't jump on his head, but I can be like, screw you, little alien ball. There's another jammer. Oh, I would probably need it for that. I'm curious what happens when I get shot by this thing. How far back did it take me now is the question. Oh, it takes me back to the beginning of the level. Okay. I would consider this a level, I guess. Woo. I got lucky there. So, let me grab this now. Oops. And turn this gun off as well. So that I can safe passage through this area. I don't know what's back there. Or up there. It looks like there was a gate here at some point. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. So, my goal is eternal life, apparently. Ooh. UPC code. Find myself in a world of impossible architecture and inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works, and I'm terrified to put one foot in front of the other. I fall, or lest I fall through the floor. Does that mean, it, is this a floor puzzle? I don't think so. I came into this room once already. Sploosh, sploosh. So I'm looking for sigils. Uh, let's use this, sure. Okay, so Tetris pieces are the sigils. So, it looks like I can, there's signs that are guiding me toward these Tetris pieces. Well, at least, there's more signs over there as well. So, let's start with this one. A switch out of reach. Okay, so this switch is going to be out of reach. And I'm going to have to find a way to reach the switch. What switch? I'm going to stay away from you. Ah, probably this switch. <laughs> I was thinking it maybe it'd be that easy, but it's not. So let's see, what do we got here? I have a jammer. What's back in here? Nothing's back in here. I have a jammer, though. I'm sure I'm going to need to use the jammer on this gun. Does it reach? It does. So it reaches pretty far. There's one of those guys over there. Oh, it's here. Okay, so now I can get to the switch. What is the switch connected to? It's wire, wire, wire. The switch is connected up to this guy. I think that means he's actually disabled. Yeah, yeah, so I can pick up the jammer because now he's actually turned off. So I don't need to jam him anymore. Now I'm trying to get back there. It didn't open this door or anything, though, so I'm assuming I have to mess with this guy. Can I do it through? I cannot. Let's jam him. And here we go. Tetris piece number one. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. The sigils of our name? Elohim? What's well, your name? So either way, that's one Tetris piece down. Let's go for the outnumbered. That would make me believe that there are less jammers than enemies based on the name of outnumbered. And this is the last puzzle I played before. Can I jam you from here? That was easy. Oh. 
There's a barrier. Okay, so you can't get out here. Let me run around for a minute. What's over here? Can I just run? Nope! <laughs> you can't just run past him. So, that being the case... The guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them. For they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. Okay. I'm gonna let this guy out of here, and then take it with me. Oh no, I didn't do it. Can I do it from the side? Okay, so now he is no longer inside that area. And turn this guy off, and now I should have safe passage. There we go. Because he is trapped out there. Well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. Okay, and now I don't know anything about this puzzle because I am past the point where I was testing to make sure that this game would run on my computer well enough. So I saw this guy up here. He's coming back at me. How far back's he come? Oh god. Okay. Hidden here. Okay. So I guess you can hide like that. I don't know how long that's going to help me for, though. Uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's a jammer. Urgh. Okay. The question is, who do I need to jam? I think I need to jam this dude. Okay, I got you, because that guy won't come through here anymore. Oh, crap. Oh man, one jammer, and you can't just run. Does that just make him run after me, or does it... Is there another way to go? No. Or do you just blow up no matter what? Like, do I have to go... Oh, I get it, I get it. Oh, crap, I get it. I was running too fast. So, I was on the right path. What I need to do is open up that... Oh, shoot. Open up that thing that I opened up and... Let that far guy get into there and trap him. So I'll grab this. I'll wait for this guy to go back through. Shoot. Let me back up until he gets in there. I'm not going to be able to do it on this pass. Okay. He's trapped. So now I'm safe up in here, and I can grab this piece, and now it probably wants me to get out of here, which My I should. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. There we go. Got him jammed, and now we can run through. So now I get to the temple. So the temple isn't end game. The temple seems to be early game. So this must be the temple. Bloom. Sigils in place? Wait, they fit. Wait, what? They're in. Apparently you can rotate them to fit different areas. I don't... Hello? I want to go through. Do I need another one? What do you mean? 
What do you mean your temple awaits me? Is this the wrong? Is it wrong? Why would I need to rotate it if it... Oh, is this, is this a puzzle itself? Oh, <laughs> I get it. Wow. That's just the parts you need. And then you need to fit them on this grid. Oh, man. That's going to get rough. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It's shaped by great designer with signs and importance to guide my steps. I'm one of his children, and challenges are set before me to test my faith. Whatever the end goal, the grand challenge is, it's far out of reach, knowing that we are supposed to resist distraction. Loading library session done. Mounting local disk. For 7 million distributed resources on connecting network drives. Error network inaccessible. Loading Milton Library Assistant. Error MLA unresponsive. And initiating command prompt done. Library archive session ready. Uh, I didn't type hi. <laughs> oh, there's stuff on the bottom I can do here. Hi, unknown command. Hello, world. Unknown command. Durr. That's why I tried to type ls. Unknown command. What's this? Type help for list of commands. Help! There we go. List displays a list of resources, opens, helps, run MLA, or exit. Searching resources. Welcome. Let's look at welcome. From the Nadia Sarbai Institute of Applied Blah, blah, blah. Hi again. I'm sorry if it was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is, so was I. This might be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young and you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, normally speaking, I'm head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. G face. Face. Interesting. Let's do this. Let's do this. Nadia. Okay. So I read welcome. Athena. Chapter 6. Athena is the garden of the Hesperides. Somebody did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into this strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together forming a king or a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel in the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree made of bright blue steel and upon the tree grew a single golden apple this apple the nymphs said in unison their eyes aglow confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom many heroes and not a few villains have come to claim it but all faltered in the final step for you must know that deathliness or deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles afflowed something or other, gazing upon the stars and wept. Wow. Figure it out. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world and searching for the truth can be a real adventure, but it's good for the brain. Anyways, I just, or just some rambling thoughts for your old man, from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young. You've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. Is that what I was doing at the temple here? So I can't really run this computer, right? Because it's... Oh. It actually ran it. Hello, guest. How can I help you today? Do you understand what I'm saying? Please do. It's a strong way to put it, but yes. I understand it's a strong way to put it, but yes. Oh, my God. Describe your functions. Milton Library System is designed primarily to sort and clarify or classify data in the library archive. Secondly, it facilitates user interaction with library resources by an intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. 
I... What are these terminals? Terminals find access to library resources are giant. Okay, let's let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I didn't tell you to list. I said exit. Exit. Okay. New text added to my journal. I have a journal? Okay. So they all apparently go in my journal. So is this the temple? Or did I just like stop in the on the way to the temple? Like, I'm trying to figure out if that computer itself is the temple. So it's saying I don't need those because I already have them? Well, I guess... Step into the light, child. Oh, here we go. And my temple... Here we go. I got myself sidetracked over there at the computer terminal. Oh, wow. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. So what is this going to open? So I need a bunch of sigils to get into this lock, and this lock, I mean obviously. So this appears to be... A very expansive world with seven different areas I can go to now, as well as a locked door. There are mysteries in my garden, hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. Wow. Okay, so this is a nice map that tells me where I need to get all the stuff from. So... Guys, we've made it to the temple. First look at this game. I think it looks amazing. The puzzles, I can't wait for them to get more and more challenging. Go check this game out on Steam. Uh, links in the description. Definitely, if the rest of the game is anything like the, the first couple puzzles that I've done in this playthrough, this is going to be an amazing game. So, guys, I really hope you go pick this game up, check it out, support the Crow team, and... Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.